Hey, it was Danny, and today we're gonna take a quick look at some of my watches. I went down to my stash, my basement, and I was able to, um, I don't have a basement, to get my collection for you guys, it's upside down. And um, I figured, hey, now's a better time to share that with you since everyone's in a collecting mood. So we're gonna be talking about my watches. First watch we're gonna talk about is this Apple Watch. Um, I've had a couple in a lifetime, I tend to upgrade them. They're like my living secretary. I can't afford a real one, so I use an Apple Watch. This is all of my G-Shocks, okay? So I don't know if we're gonna make it through all of these, but I'm thinking I'm gonna start with the first row. So let's talk about these few right here. Give you a little bit of history about it and then move on to some more. This is my Mudman, I think. Here we go. One of my favorite watches. I've had this watch for about a couple of years. I gave it to my son. He destroyed it, so I took it back. Um, it's hard to get a red watch for me that I like. Um, this watch is pretty good to me. It has the uh, negative display in red. Negative display in red. Yeah, yeah. So, first watch. I mean, second watch, other than the Apple watch. I use it. It connects me to all of the things that I need, and it's very important. Oh! Quick tip for all of my Gundies out there. This pole right, this right here, these are like $6, but these are like $2. Now this don't stick as well as the um, M-Lock ones, but it's a cheap alternative. If you don't want to spend like $13 on some um, railings, I recommend that you kind of mix up, get some of these um, M-Lock screws. It's perfect, right? M-Lock screws. And this, one of the, um, these um, railings, is the name and then you can make yourself a handy dandy workable really for your weapons sorry I had to fix the camera all right this is my LRG G-Shock right this one is also very old if you can't tell by the discoloration happening here on the wrist but I got these watches when I was relatively young and naive and I didn't understand the value I throw away the box and everything nowadays I see this on eBay it's running for like $300 I think I spent like $1, 120 or 150 fresh off the like brand new everything else is pretty good in the watch all the logos the plastic it's not peeling I didn't wear this one a lot though that's when everybody was trying to coordinate their whole outfits gonna work out like that but that's the LRG right I don't want to make this video too long this is my um I forget what they call these watches but they are really popular there's a pretty popular face and it's purple with like a candescent sparkling um sparkly wrist thingy beautiful um watch negative display that's in purple as well and the light is purple so that's that this is my um Todd Jordan pretty dope watch all black it's supposed to look like steel but this was before they did the um steel versions so pretty good pretty good condition I was abusing this watch I was like wearing this watch painting going to work just doing a whole bunch of random stuff so I'm surprised they made it this far. Negative display. Signature. The back has the face. Right? Stainless steel. You know, typical G-Shocks. This is my um, 100s. Or 100. No, 100s. This is my 100s. This is the back of it, by the way. Just to get that out of the way. Black stainless steel. Beautiful watch. All matte. Everything. And you get these three colors, which I'm assuming are their logo colors. You get this little um, glossy thing right here. And on this side it says um, something about blood, sweat, and uh, years. They come out with these every year, though. This is still like a functioning brand that still functionally does collaborations with G-Shock. So that's pretty dope, too. So it's always good to have something like that in your collection because it has some type of sentimental value. Especially when you know they're still dropping them. This is my um, camouflage one. I got this in the desert to go with my uniform. 
that never matched. We were using um, ACUs, and this is for the, I think, the tan ones. And I don't know the name of those because only Marines wore them. So, um, when I was in, that is. So, this is the watch. Nothing stainless steel back, solar powered. Yeah, this is the, right now in this particular set, this is the only, this is the only solar powered watch that I actually have in this particular run. I do have a lot more, and um, there's a lot going on with these, but this is a beautiful watch. I love it. I used to wear this a lot as well, and to the point where it's starting to feel sticky, but that could be just a storage issue. I gotta figure out a way to like, I think I gotta get one of those, like those desiccalic packs, those desiccalic packs, and um, just work. And um, like put them inside of the case so that you know, they don't damage my watches too much. Um, should I pull out more watches for you guys? This video is still relatively short. Mm, what do you think? Tell me your thoughts. I'm not doing that. I'm going to probably come back with another because my camera's kind of dying, you know. So keep that for the history. And I'm about to hit. All right, maybe one more. Oh, I got like watches everywhere. So. Give me one second. This is one of my, I don't even normally like camouflage. I think I had this on the other day. I don't like camouflage watches, but this is another gem. I thought it was a beautiful watch. It's sort of like a hybrid between this watch and um, I don't have the watch here. I don't have it out, um, but I'll probably bring it up to you know, remind me later and I'll share with you what this looked like, okay? But it's a hybrid between like these two. And I think that it's a great looking watch right um Lou do I call this that I don't know what it is but this is another one of my favorite watches I don't get to wear too much uh, black stainless steel back it has these things that look like it remind me of police cars it has a textured strap first let me go I guess it has a structured pack it has a textured strap at this edge smooth on this side and you get these like little bars let's see focus for me man that go basically around the whole watch. Pretty dope. I thought it was an interesting uh, concept. And, um, you know, I'm just going to get some honorable mentions out the way, too. These two are honorable mentions. These are just cheap watches that I thought looked pretty dope. Timex classic. I was gonna do it where you put the oil inside so that you can see the um time without seeing that like if I put it at an angle it has like this weird like magnification issue, but you put oil in there, you kill all of that. It basically covers brings the face up to the watch so you can see it at like it's like forty five degrees angle. It's pretty dope. This is another one that I got. Um a little Timex piece. No, this is a Casio. This is a Casio watch, stainless steel back. Simple watch that I was like, uh, I was like, yeah, I'm gonna wear this watch. Whenever I was doing like yard work, never happened. It just basically sits on my shelf, doing nothing. Anyway, that's like part one. I'm gonna come back with the rest. And um, like I said, I don't wanna keep these videos too long. I take up too much of your time. Um, thank you for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Leave some comments down below. What was your favorite watch in this video? Tell me what you want to see. I might have it. So leave that down in the comment, all right? Thank you for watching. 